Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup look that is semi-dramatic, slightly glittery, very peachy on the cheeks and a wonderful coral lip and it is perfect for a night out or just a girl's night out or anything like that. I think it's very suitable for a lot of occasions and it's just a lot of fun to film. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you want to see how to do it then just keep watching. So if this is a makeup look that you will be using on a night out, then priming your skin is definitely one of the most important things that you can do. So I'm mixing two together today. First one that I'm using is by Nude by Nature and this is the Mineral Primer and I'm just going to work that into my skin very, very well and then just to fill in any kind of pores and fine lines, I'm using the L'Oreal Base Magique. This is a really nice silicone based one and it's very thick so it's going to fill in all those pores and fine lines lines to make a really nice base for your foundation and the one that I'm using today is by Chi Chi and this is the fabulous and flawless foundation and the color that I'm using today is number four and this is a really nice medium to full coverage foundation so to use that I'm going to be blending it out with my damp beauty blender and this is just going to ensure that I have a really nice flawless base and I'm going for more of a medium coverage today but you can go as heavy-handed or as light-handed as you like and for my concealer I'm going to be concealing my under eye circles with a very beautiful brightening concealer and this one is by Bourjois and you can see that it is a very brightening um, concealer it is amazing for highlighting and um, this is their CC concealer it is absolutely to die for and since that I usually am quite pale I find that this concealer actually highlights when I'm not fake tanned either so it is absolutely amazing and you can see that I've put it underneath my eyes I've also I blended it out quite low onto my cheekbones, also on the forehead, down the nose, on the cupid's bow and also on the chin. And then just to spot conceal, I'm using my favourite concealer for that and that is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20 and just concealing any kind of redness and uh, pine lines, <laughs> pores, fine lines, any imperfections, anything that needs to be covered. And then to set my under eye concealer, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Powder in the colour Transparent and this is just a translucent powder so it's not going to kind of dull down the highlight that I've got going on which I'm very happy with and then just to set the rest of my face I'm going to be using my Charlotte's flush and flesh fresh and flawless powder and this is just a really nice full coverage powder and I'm just going to do a very light dusting of that all over the face just to set everything so it doesn't budge all night Now to bronze up the skin, I'm going to be using one by Astralis and this is the Neon Crush bronzer and this is a really beautiful very golden bronzer and I'm not going to focus on contouring tonight at all I'm going to really just focus on bronzing up the skin so to do that I'm going to be using a fluffy brush and I'm just going to focus that on the cheeks also on the cheekbones and bring it up just a little bit onto the actual cheeks I'm going to bring it onto the forehead and the temples and I also ran it down the sides of my nose but I don't think I filmed that so just pretty much work on bronzing your skin up and you are good to go and then for my blush I'm using this beautiful blush by Vivo Cosmetics and this is a UK brand that I purchased online I will have the name of this blush down below um, it is a beautiful peach tone blush and it is absolutely stunning Dunning. It is a matte blush so it mixes quite well with the glittery bronzer. And then to highlight I'm using this one by Essence and this is the So Glow Highlighter. This is a cream to powder finish so I'm just using my fingertips to blend that out onto my skin and it is a very weird consistency. So basically as soon as it touches your skin it turns into powder. It is unusual but amazing and I highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it go for it. It is amazing. There's two to choose from. So I've skipped doing my brows and also priming my eyes. I've done those already. I'll have all the products listed down below. So moving straight onto the eyes, I've put a little bit of tape on the side so it can give me a really nice harsh edge. And then I'm going to be using the Astralis, I think it's AC Love Me, I think it is, um, Metals Collection um, eyeshadow in the color bronze once. And then that's going to go all over the lid and I'm just going to blend this out with the Chi Chi Matte 
palette and I'm using the warmest brown in the actual palette to blend out and that's going to be the main color on my crease area so I'm just going to use a fluffy brush just to work into the sides of my eyes and also just a little bit onto the lid and then I'm just going to blend that out so majority of the color will be on the outer part and then I'm using this beautiful plummy kind of red toned color and this is just going to go into the actual socket line and also on the outer half of my eye just to deepen that up just a little bit more and to highlight and clean up the uh, brow bone area I'm using this matte white shade obviously matte because it's in a matte palette but I'm just going to run that straight underneath my brow bone just to clean up any edges and this is my favorite new technique to um, apply my eyeliner so I'm mixing two eyeliners today and the first one I'm using is this gel eyeliner by Rimmel and I'm just going to basically trace out my winged liner I'm just gonna fill it in just a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go over it with a liquid liner and this is my secret to really really dark very defined perfect winged liner so once you've put your gel down you can pretty much clean up any edges and also your flick with the liquid eyeliner to perfect it so just do that until you're happy with it and you are good to go so onto the lower lash line I'm just taking that same warm brown just on a really short shader brush and just dusting that on my lower lash line just to smoke it out just a little bit and blend it out with my finger and this is the NYX Roll On Shimmer in the color Platinum and it is a really pretty silvery white glitter that I'm putting on the inner corner just to add just that extra little bit of sparkle that I love and then for my mascara I'm taking this one by Arbonne it is the it's a long story mascara it has fibers in it so it makes your lashes look lovely and long and amazing and I'm just prepping my eyelashes for my falsies that I'm using today and the ones that I've decided to use are from Ardell and I can't remember the names of them I'm pretty sure that these are the wispies um, you can buy them from Priceline and I think they're called the Glamour Lashes, which I think they work out to be the Wispies, but any lashes that you love, just go for it. And then moving straight onto the lips, I'm using this new Maybelline Color Drama Lip Pencil, which this is my favorite shade. This is to die for. Look how neon it is. This is in the color. It's I'm with Coral or something. I'll leave the name down below. It is intense, amazing. You need it in your life right now. If you haven't tried these, you need to get on them. The pigmentation is fantastic, as you can clearly see. The longevity of them is absolutely amazing. It's not so much a matte finish, but it's just a very comfortable finish, and it just looks so... So that, guys, is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.